Hey y'all, thank y'all for subscribing and being here. I greatly do appreciate it, okay? Y'all are truly the best. So <clears throat> we're gonna see what's going on with your person that's currently on your mind. What do they wish to say that they haven't been able to say just yet or what they wanna say to you, okay? What you need to know at this time. So spirit angels of God, please protect me as I show these messages for the subscribers how it's good. What do they currently need to know? What is the person they're thinking about right now? What does this person wish to let them know at this time, Spirit? What does this person wish to tell the collective at this time? The person that is on the collective's mind as they're watching this, when every time they come across it, okay? What do they need to know? What does this person wish to tell the collective that they, well, what does the collective's person want to say right now? What does this person wish to tell the collective? What does this person wish to tell the collective? So we got reconciliation is coming. Okay, so there is somebody here. Your person is definitely wanting to come back. Okay, so I definitely do feel like if your person could tell you anything, look, bottom of the deck, baby, I'm begging you. So your person is definitely going to be begging to come back towards you. The song that's playing is I Care About You by Miles Tony. He says, um he said i care about you he said girl i care about you um i'm there for you so why don't you care for me like i care about you so somebody your person could be feeling like you don't care about them um but this person wants to be reconciliation they're gonna beg to be back with you okay whoever this is gonna be beg beg to be back with you this person could have been stuck between you and somebody else um and you kind of was like okay peace you know like we ain't gonna fight about it go ahead and go go on about your business or they could have been acting nonchalant like oh I, i'm not doing nothing or just lying playing games but yeah this person's making their way back to you okay what does this person wish to tell the collective if they could tell what does the collective person wish to let them know spirit what does the collective person wish they could tell them right now you've been on my mind more than usual so your person has definitely been thinking about you collective okay that's why they want to come back because you've been on this person's mind and not only that you've made them look at things from other perspectives okay you really have it says the universe has your back so most definitely some of you have been wanting this reconciliation and just know that the universe has your back okay if there's something you've been planning for or manifesting just know the universe got you got you covered okay look told you so this person is always you're always on their mind okay for some of you the universe is kind of doing that to this person right now like they are definitely keeping you on your person mind. 11 22 on the timer look up that angel number but your person yeah you gave this person a different outlook okay excuse me but this person um the universe is definitely like bringing so many signs about you collecting that's not even funny Okay, you stay on this person's mind. The universe is reminding this person every day about you. Somehow, some way, whether it's seeing your name, whether it's thinking they see you out. Um, you picture them even pop up on their, you know, on their phone or something. They think that they, that they're, the number is yours coming across the screen. screen and they might be three or four numbers off, you know. It's like, oh yeah, she didn't call me or he didn't call me. And it's not even you, it's somebody else. Okay. Yeah, it says, I'm obsessed with you. Oops. So whoever this is, is very definitely obsessed with you. They can't get enough of you. Look, I love you still. So this person definitely still does love you. And they're trying to find the right words to say to you. Okay, because somebody here may know that they can't just come in here saying anything. You may not believe them. Yeah, see, they can't even face you. But it's because they did, they did so much in the past. So you're just like, mm, you know. So yeah, right now your person could be feeling a little bit guarded too. So let's see what else you need to know. Let's see what else you need to know about this individual. So Spirit, what else does a collective need to know? I would definitely be reconciling with your person collective, okay? Your person definitely doesn't want you to give up on them anytime soon. I definitely do want to heal things, heal this connection. And, you know, you even being away from this person right now is kind of making them think things more clearly. 
they're definitely looking at things from other perspectives life without you it could be feeling a little bit empty okay they know that something here is off and the reason why things are off is because y'all two may not be dealing with each other right now. you know so they're like oh i don't like feeling like this you know they're still this person i feel like they still got hope for y'all all right so let's see what we got here so y'all definitely have a reconciliation that is in the works okay Guys, what does the collective need to know about this person that they're thinking about? So this person is definitely attracted to you, okay? This person definitely does see you as somebody here. Like they just like be physically attracted to you. It's just something about you. It's it's like you got that magnetic love, okay? This person could be, you know stalking your social media watching from a fake profile look and i'm telling y'all we got r kelly you remind me of something i think it says you remind me of something i just can't think he said you remind me of my jeep you remind me of this so some of you um like i told you a few minutes ago you're con the universe is constantly show like making your person like you remind your person things like i said they either think they see your number or they could see people or a person that maybe have looked like look like you you know you're constantly being reminded yeah and right now you're the fact that, that this is happening it's making a person want to clean up their energy you know clean up their space remove any negativity your person could be learning how to meditate they could be learning how to sage but whatever it is your person's just in a heartbreak broken like just heartbroken right now they could be grieving over you because they know that you are the one but this somebody here your divine masculine mm -hmm. they got caught up in a third party situation where they're trying to heal from okay they're trying to to move on from that this person definitely trying to remove any negativity yeah and if they were in that negativity could have definitely been a toxic relationship okay i feel like your person doesn't want to fight anymore they don't want any more misunderstandings um for some of your person was only with this person because of codependency and maybe this third party didn't appreciate that felt like your person could have been using them so your person yeah they're single they're done with that okay they're done with the fighting why is a toxic relationship in reverse yeah i can't make it up i didn't even have to shuffle so your person could definitely be going through some type of breakup walking away from another connection and going through a spiritual awakening okay your person does not want to fight okay i'm hearing they don't want to fight no more they don't want to be be argumentative anymore they don't want to go through things anymore because for some of you for the longest this toxic relationship held your person down and for some of your person just kept sleeping with this person over and over and it made this third party act out okay why is your why is the cut this person breaking up walking away from this third party toxic relationship yeah, because for some of you, it caused your person a lot of anxiety. Your person maybe didn't trust this person, this this person they were fighting with constantly. You know, they didn't know if they were going to get the cops calling them on them. They didn't know if this person was going to set them up. Your person didn't trust this person. And for some of you, like I said, it was just drama, chaos, just a bunch of fighting. And your person got tired of that. It was just obstacle after obstacle. It was just too much. And as they were fighting with this person that thought about you they're like i want to go back to a calmer love i want to be back with somebody who i don't have to keep fighting with all the time okay i don't i don't want to keep fighting and arguing what a spirit yeah so your person like i said they're going through a major realization right now they are getting rid of things that are not good for them and for some of you they want to prove to you like look i'm going to i'm i can let these things go this negative energy I can let go of that toxic relationship because I want to be be with somebody who is going to be good to me. Okay, they don't want to keep fighting anymore. They're like, I got to throw the trash out in order to have something real. Y'all, like example, let's say you know you got to take out the trash, right? If you keep it sitting there, it's going to continue to stink. It's going to then on not only that, it's going to make your house smell bad. And that's, I felt that's how this your person's energy, just looking at this trash energy. Your person is dealing with either the way they're acting, like another situation, where they have realized it's just trash. What is a collective person realizing that it's trash? What are they becoming aware about? For some of you, 
be getting themselves in trouble back to back, going to court, paperwork getting filed on them. What are they realizing that is trash? What are they realizing is trash? Clarify trash. For some of you, they're realizing partying is trash, okay? Maybe they're losing money, trying to keep up a facade, you know, spending money on drink. You know, maybe when they party, they act, act crazy. For some of you, they end up going to jail. Yeah, they get themselves in, in some type of trouble, but legal matter. Maybe they drink too much, clarify party. Maybe there's somebody they dealt with that likes to party all the time, but they don't want to deal with that. Maybe that person is a drunk. What is this? Yeah, see, at first they didn't want to accept the truth, but they took them glasses off, I feel like. What else is the club thing you know about that person? So for some of you, your person is definitely going to be popping up on you. And if if in the past, if they're causing you drama or acting out, they don't want to do that no more. Why does this person want to visit the collective? Because they want a relationship with you. They want to show you that they want to be their, your partner again. Or be your partner. Boyfriend, girlfriend. They could have definitely, some of them, for some of you, they could have ghosted you or rejected you or just disappeared out of nowhere. But they're realizing you're their soulmate connection. They got a soulmate connection with you and they don't want to have that mask on anymore. Okay? They ran away from someone they can trust, which is you. Yeah, they, they, they went popping up on you. Mentally, you know, confined, stuck in their thoughts about you. What up, Spirit? So right now, this person does not want to be done. Okay? So if you think this person is done collective, they are not. Spirit said this person is not done with you. Okay? They may not be able to propose to you or give you what you need. But they do not want to. Why? Because it's unfinished business. They do not want to end things with you. Why is done in reverse? Oh, well, it did come out. So maybe before in the past, because this did come out in reverse, or it looked like it wanted to come out um, in reverse, but Spirit is saying, yes, they do. Spirit said they are not done with you because they maybe in the past they didn't want to propose to you. Now they do. They want to come in here with a love offer. So something here has definitely changed your mind. Why? Because you are their soulmate. Okay? You are giving off soulmate vibes. And they don't want to keep hiding you from the world. They don't want to keep playing any games. Okay? They're realizing you're somebody who has supported them. You have been nothing but loyal. You have been nothing but real. And for some of you, people cannot take it. There could be a snake in their energy who is mad and upset, talking shit about you, mad. You know, because your person is in love with you or loves you a lot. Mm-hmm. Clarify proposal. Yep. But for some of you, your person could be kind of stressed out about making this this commitment because being making a commitment could be big. Maybe in the past they didn't commit to nobody. You know, but for you they want to. Maybe they feel like you might turn them down, like, no, I'm good. You know, or you no, know, let them know you don't probably want that anymore. And it's and it could be a hurtful feeling. That you may not, you know, want them. You may not want them like that. So, yeah. Why does this person have anxiety about proposing to the collective spirit? Why do they have anxiety? Yeah, because for some of you, they put you through a lot of mess. Okay, something here could have happened. Something could have, could have been some type of divine intervention. Okay, what is this divine intervention? So for some of you, they got some type of karma that something here could have came in to try to stop y'all two from being together. Like your soulmate, this was a soulmate connection. But somebody here, you know, what is this divine intervention? It was somebody here who was a fucking snake collective. Somebody here was a snake. And clarify the snake energy. They could have fell for temptation. Somebody here could have been very shady. I don't know. For some of you, this is somebody here that could have been trying, could have been giving your person money. What was the snake energy that came in between? I'm trying to tell y'all. Some of you, your person could have faked a love, could like act like they love this person to get money out of them. Okay, 
look, must be lying by life, Jennings. Yeah, they realize that even when their hustling days are gone, you were the one who was by their side. So what was this deception, shady, temptation, enemy? But yeah, for some of you, this was a past lover who tried to come back, okay? But they are so busy focusing on you. Yep, this is my here that your person did not have romantic feelings for. And that the person could have been heartbroken because they see you as being the one. And your person could have made it clear to this third party that they want to heal things with you. And this third party couldn't take it, so they started to flip out and do things. Okay? What else? Clarify this proposal. So somebody here is not done because they want to propose something here to you. Yeah, they've been getting signs. I'm telling y'all, the universe has been sending a person so many hints on, hey, it's time to get it together. Okay, what is the what message from the universe is the collective getting a uh, collective person getting about the collective? For some of you, the, the universe is telling, trying to take a person, come in here and tell the truth, confess, get it off your chest. Yes, get something off your chest and and be real with with your divine fem, feminine. Get right, be honest. Okay, what is what message from the universe is this person getting? So for some of you, yeah, they might be saying the universe might tell you person tell the truth about a third party. What's the truth about a third party? What truth about the third party is going to be coming out soon? What message from the universe about this third party is going to be coming out? So for some of you, the truth is going to come out that this third party has been spying on your social media. Okay? What truth is going to be coming out? For some of you, your person is going to let know that they did not change, that they don't want to change for this third party. Okay? Or your person feel like, I'm wanting to change. I don't want to be with this. Like, they still going to be a player. For some of you, they're going to let you know that they've been praying, hoping that you didn't even find out about this third party, which is why they didn't take a chance towards this third party. That's why they didn't really open up to this third party because they weren't going to take a chance. Yeah, for the whole time, this third party could be thinking your person was really with them. The whole time, your person has been guarding themselves from this third party. Mm -hmm. Yep. See, your person was afraid. They didn't want you to know anything about what was going on for real. And they regret that. So this person, the unit reverse can be telling your person, you know, you, you should have been keeping it real with the collective. You should have been being honest with the collective. And they regret that. That's why they're going to get ready to confess this here to you. Okay. Anything else collective you know about this, about their person? So the person is definitely thirsty for you. They want more of you. Like I told you earlier, this person is definitely attracted to you, okay? And they want to heal this connection. Some of you definitely, they, they definitely want to heal this, make things right with you, progress, move forward. They want to talk to you. Look, tell me about Drew Hill. So this person was like, tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. Let's get on the same page. Let's talk. Let's fix this. Why is the cut this person thirsty for them? Because <laughs> for some of you, they're heartbroken. And they're like, I got to have you back. That's why reconciliation came out first. They're like, I got to have you back, collective. I got to make this work. Yeah, they focus on you. Like I said, they're getting a bunch of signs. 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. And for some of you, their friends are definitely telling them, like, hey, bro, you need to get on it. Or, hey, girl, come on. Like, you're sitting up here acting. Once again, this person is very attracted to you. Okay, if they want to come to harmony. Somebody here may want to come home, or they see you as home. Okay, anything else, spirit? Yeah, for some of you, person definitely wants to date you. You know, you know, maybe start going having like a meetup. They want to start courting you. This person really want to show you that they love you and admire you and appreciate you. Okay, what else? And they feel that this is a soulmate connection. Can't make it up. And they feel like time is running out with you. If they don't say something soon, or if they don't do what they got to do, they know that time is going to run out with you. And you will be 
with somebody else. And that's what's keeping them in their feelings because they really don't know what you got going on. Somebody here also could be trying, your person could also be trying to deal with some legal matters that are keeping them down. I'm not going to lie, your person could be sending this third party to get money out of them to help them take care of some type of legal matters. And it is heartbreaking because they know that you are the one. Yeah, this divine masculine, they know you're the one. And y'all are coming out, look, y'all right behind each other. See, before the divine masculine, the third party was behind the third, the third party was behind the masculine. Now you, if you are a divine feminine, now you are behind the divine masculine. And now y'all may be able to heal this connection and talk and get on the same page and leave the past behind. And this and just and this person can't just focus on you, you know. Let's get one more. What else, spirit? What else for the collective and their person? What else for the collective and their person? So this person, like I said, they have been praying, asking God to protect this union because for some like I said, they definitely want to propose to you. They want to commit to you, give you an offer. Yeah, but somebody here wants to come home. They want to come home. But like I said, and Spirit said, as soon as I said they want to come home, right now your person could be dealing with a tragedy relationship, though. And this is my here who could be trying to punish your person because of finances. They could, your person went over there and could have used this other person for financial reasons. And now this person is trying to get payback on your person because they're hurt, they're mad, they're upset, they're realizing your person isn't wanting to be with them. And this third party could be in a lot of regret yeah because your person is done your person is really trying to heal and as they're trying to heal your person they're not getting on the same page and talking to you being back with you y'all being an item again but this person who's in retaliation knows that and they regret it even helping your person clarify retaliation i'm telling y'all this feminine energy yeah this ex lover that your person is dealing with yeah or was now in the present because we got love each other for life. That's the thing about it. No matter what this third party try to do, your person and you are going to love each other for life, even if y'all are not together. And that's what this third party cannot handle. Yeah, whoever is trying to get payback on your person or revenge, they are mad as hell. And Spirit said, it is this past lover. It's this past, this is ex. The person that made them an ex. Why is this third party so, so mad and full of retaliation? Because your person been running and avoiding them. And they could be trying to look you up, see what you're doing. And for some of you, they're going to look and see that y'all two are right back together. Some of you, they're going to find out that y'all about to have a family together. Okay? Mm. Why is the collective person running and avoiding this third party? Why are they running? And, for some of you, because of legal matters. Or something about justice. Yeah, your person could have made a final decision to heal so they can talk to you. One more. Why is the collective person um, running and avoiding this third party? Spirit said it all happened in divine timing. So some of you third party was begging your person, please stay with me. What do you need? But your person was like, uh-uh. I got unfinished business with the collective. I got somewhere to be. I can't do this with you. And this third party could not take it. So now they're looking for revenge, trying to take your person to court. So just so that your person can stay. Because for some of you, person may not got a lot of money or have any at all or have enough. They've been, you know, taking out the pot and been not putting anything back. And now this karmic feeling some type of way because they done did everything for the son, for your person. But your person ain't really committing like they thought that they would. Even if you're out the picture, just know. The person is not committing to this third party. They're not. They're not. That's why they're into that. And now, and this third party trying to fight with your person. They're trying to do the most to keep your person around. But it ain't working. It's not happening. It's not happening, Captain. It is not happening. So let's see. Spirit, how is the collective person currently feeling? What does the collective need to know about their person at this time? 
what is a collective person to know at this time? Yeah, no matter what this third party tries to do, you and your person are gonna love each other for life. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So your person doesn't want you to block them anymore, okay? They don't want you to hold back. They don't want you to, to, to have your guard up anymore. They really want to try to come towards you, okay? What else, Spirit? Yeah, Ace of Wands. They want a new passionate beginning here with you, okay? They want to start over. They want a brand new passionate here beginning with you. And they want to take action towards you. Yeah, because Five of Cups, somebody here definitely feels sad. They regret something. For some of you, they regret, you know, ending things with you or walking away. But I do feel like this ending is definitely got your person want to make a transformation. The death card is not always bad. It talks about spiritual awakening, as we did see earlier. They're learning some type of life lesson. So your person definitely is regretful. Could be walking around with their head down. Could be feeling like they've, you know, lost it all with you. But in reality, Spirit is saying they are going through some rebirth they're going through a big change right now okay as y'all two have separated so this person is sad they're regretful could be overthinking a little bit yeah but they're coming back your twin flame they want to be back in a union with you they want to make this right with you somebody here wants could want to come home okay they see you as a forever person want to get married to you settle down yeah they look at you as wish fulfillment yeah, you, you look damn good to this person. So, you you know, you carry yourself very, very well. And your person loves that. Okay? But they do feel left out in the cold. Okay? They might even feel like they have to going through a lot of obstacles and, and going through a lot right now, especially with a third party. Okay? So, this person is definitely determined to come towards you with this Knight of Pentacles energy. And for some of you, they wanna, they're want they solely coming in because they want to give you a commitment. They want to do this the right way. Okay? They want to be with you. They want to commit to you. They're looking at things from another perspective after juggling you. But some of you did not allow this person to juggle you. You know? You was like, I'll holla. <laughs> okay? They want to come here with some type of offer. Told y'all, as I said, that Ten of Cups. Because, yeah, your wish fulfillment. Somebody here want, like I told you earlier, they want to come home. Or they see you as home and they want to be together and work together and, and build and have this relationship. They see success here with you. And yeah, they want a family. Some of you got definitely good news on the way about this person want to be with you. And yeah, and look, Deborah Cox, we can't be friends. Some of y'all have tried to be friends with this person. Either this person didn't want it or you just felt like I cannot be friends with you. Okay? She said we can't be friends if we can't be lovers. What up, Spirit? How's this person feeling? So, yeah, they're going through a rebirth. Like, they're going through something major right now. Okay? With this tower card. What is the tower here? So, yeah, they're definitely going through something. Some type of conflict. Some drama right now. Okay? They're going through it. But they just want to break out of this because they want a fresh new start because things could be burdensome. Okay, they're tired of going through the same thing. There's this tower moment. Mm -hmm. For some of you, your person is tired of messing around the Knight of Wands energy in reverse. They're tired of messing around. They're tired of being promiscuous. Okay. Or they don't want to come like that way towards you. Yeah. So yeah, they want to have a fresh new beginning. They're going to take some type of risk towards you. Take a leap of faith. faith take a leap of faith towards you. Why? Because they want a relationship. They want a true commitment here with you. Yeah, and right now your person wants to reconcile. They want to have a balance here with you. Okay, I feel like they want to fix things. They want to mend things that could be praying to their higher power they want to have an equal give and take here yeah the person manifesting you definitely been manifesting you so right now this person definitely is coming in here quickly okay faster than you think what's the eight of wands yeah so they want to come in towards you but i do feel like they know that you're going to be like very guarded 
Are they afraid you may be guarded? Yeah, see, but the nine of wands, they don't want you to be guarded towards them, though. Yeah, but this person is definitely going to stand in their power. They're definitely going to try to prove to you that they, they can be loyal, that they are your person. Yeah, that's why they want to come back towards you and fix things. This person's next action is to come here with some a type of love offer with the with the Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups. They want to heal things, move forward with you. For some of you, they want to show that they are more stable, that they can give you an offer. Okay. Yeah, for some of you, their next action is to commit to you. To be in a relationship, to settle down. Somebody here may tell you this with the ace of cups being at the bottom of the deck. They may tell you, you know, let's have fun. Let's go out more. Let's let's enjoy one another. Yeah, they want to come here with some type of truth. Okay. Yeah. What's the hair print? Yeah, somebody here wants to fight to be in a relationship with you. Okay, they feel like they got to fight for a relationship. How does this person view the collective at this time? How does this person view the collective? How does this person view the collective? So this person feels you, sees you as very confident. You're very beautiful. You look good. And they want to be in a relationship with you. I'm telling y'all, this person has... is has feels like you are the real deal and they want to be with you they want to bond with you they want to connect they want a relationship with you they love you you can be very spiritual you're very loving and you're very caring and they love that about you collective they definitely don't want to you know lose you but they are going through a tire moment definitely being hit with a tire moment going through a lot right now so just keep that in mind but also know you're look, the best to me by anthony hamilton is playing so let's see. Look, and as I split the deck, I want to fix this connection. So this person definitely want to heal what they've broken or mend what they've broken when it comes to you and them. Okay, cards, come on. So they definitely do plan on mending things with you. So let's see, spirit. Let's cut the page know about their person. So giving you the best of me. So somebody wants to give you the best of them. Or, if they, or maybe you've given the best of yourself to them. And now they want to return the favor. Okay. Now they're wanting to return the favor. Alright. I ain't mad at it. Excuse me. How's this person feeling towards the collective? How's this person feeling towards the collective? What is this person last message I want to say to the collective? What does this person want to tell the collective spirit? It's a big deck. So for some of you, your person is kind of worried because they don't know if they will ever change this is probably what's holding them back because they they're going through the same they're going through the same things and that this is what's causing there to be a lot of damage okay because the person still has a lot of secrets a lot of things they keep to themselves yeah so i let my pride get in the way of our connection so this person definitely let their pride and ego get in the way of y'all's connection what else what else does this person want to say come on what else does this person want to tell the collective i'm afraid it's too late to take action so this person could be afraid that you know time has ran out with you okay and that's probably what's holding them back It says, I left when things got too hard. So, yeah, this will happen for y'all. Majority of the time, this person could have ran and went to another situation. 
and got stuck in that relationship or that connection. Now they won't out of that one. Yeah, but once again, they are wanting to mend things with you. They want to fix this. They want to have a new chapter here with you. And all they're doing is looking at your pictures. Okay, reminiscing, missing you. Okay, yeah, but they do have hope. Or at least they're hoping you haven't given up on them. But they said, I haven't given up on us yet. Yeah, because they love you. They have unconditional love for you. But for some of you, they got charmed by a snake. And they this snake has kind of made them, could have put some type of control. Like, well, you know, or making a person like, you know, they've given, they, your person could have got, you know, money out of this person. Or whatever the case may be, was very codependent over this person. But the whole time, this person is a snake. Their whole snake. So this person, girl with the snake, they could be dealing with a girl with a snake. We saw that earlier. But that came out in reverse. So your person could be getting out of that situation. Yeah, the lessons I have learned from us will never be forgotten. So this, y'all definitely got some type of soul contract. Yeah, when I see you by Fantasia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happiness, joy, honeymoon phase. So y'all will definitely have. You know, time to to be in paradise again, be happy and enjoy each other again. Yeah, inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. Yeah, y'all are inseparable. Y'all do have unfinished business. Okay, since we still have things to resolve and discuss, I want to call you and hear your voice. Okay, so this person definitely does feel the chemistry when they think about you. So, Spirit, what's next for the collective and their person? So right now, y'all could be, you know, still healing. This could be the both of y'all healing right now. We got irresistible. I mean, inseparable. So there, y'all two be inseparable in no time. What else, spirit? So we got the chaser runner dynamic. So I don't know, maybe the chaser is gonna be running after runner or vice versa. Okay, take it for what it is. Cause somebody says, I don't wanna run anymore and I don't wanna chase anymore. So whoever this is, I wanna run from this connection anymore and they don't want to feel like they gotta keep chasing you either. They just wanna heal this connection, heal your heart. Clarify runner and chaser, runner and chaser. It says there are things that got in the way. Yeah, for some of you, yeah. And that's what it was. They kept running and chasing because they ran from you for a third party and then chased you when this didn't work out. But they don't want to keep doing that anymore. Yeah, they're ready for a new beginning. They're ready to lay the, the, the dead to rest and leave that behind. Yeah. Yeah. And for whoever this is, there could be a third party who is gossiping about you. Yeah, and right now this person could be feeling broken and shattered. Could have been crying over you because they saw you as somebody they could commit to. And now for some of you, you didn't ignore this person. You didn't set boundaries. But somebody here want to give you some type of ring and, and, and get back out there and date you. Reveal the truth to you, okay? What is this person's next action towards the collector? So we got, so this person could feel like they're going to miss an opportunity here with you. It says, I didn't act when I should have. So they thought they missed an opportunity here with you. Finding out and change things coming to light. So, person may want to heal this connection here with you. Right now, you part. Okay, so some of your person could have been confused in the past, could have been unclear where things stand. Now, they're you know watching you and you know looking at things from a different perception, stalking you. You know, maybe they're hoping for a different outcome.
What else, Spirit? Okay, so we have the chaser, fear of abandonment, chasing. So right now this person could fear that, you know, you're abandoning them at this time, okay? Or they feel that if they come back that you will abandon them. And that's why they haven't told you everything because they feel like you're going to run from them if they be too honest with you. Some of you have definitely made this person realize their flaws and that they need to get their shit together, okay? And they want to give this, give an equal take to this connection and to this relationship, yeah, somebody here wants to call you because, like I told you before, it is unfinished business. But they're afraid that they're going to sabotage this. Okay. Let's get one more message. So, right now, your person wants to tell you that they're reminiscing about you. They've been thinking about you. Clarify reminiscing. They miss y'all's little inside jokes and making you laugh. They definitely even see that, you know. There's somebody they can grow old with. Okay, right now y'all both could be hurting from this separation. Okay, there's been some damage that your person they called or you caused. But whatever it is, they still feel like y'all got unfinished business. It is not done. It's not over, no matter how it seems right now. Yeah, because for some of you, the way that you love can never be, be matched. You cannot be replaced. You're irreplaceable. And some of you... You got to understand that you're going to get an unexpected outcome with this person. Things are not going to go like you thought they were going to. You're going to be shocked. Okay? So, and it's, I feel like it's going to be turned around for the better. Because like I said, your person is reconciling. Okay? Reconciliation is coming. Okay? So, there's going to be a different outcome than what you thought. Alright? So, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Um, I'll see y'all later. Peace.